The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? If you could, just type yes in the questions. All right. Excellent. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Uh, let's uh, jump in and uh, get started. Uh, welcome to the Bookmap Live Order Flow Advanced Analysis Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, and uh, let's start off uh, reviewing yesterday because yesterday during the webinar was painful. Uh, it just... Uh, we were being extremely patient and uh, just... Uh, uh, very, very wary. It just kept on wearing on us um, uh, and uh, waiting for a breakout to occur. Uh, and it just never, well, it, it actually kind of did, but it was just so slow uh, in the process. Uh, and um, uh, we were looking, it was all during this period here, this consolidation period here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay. Uh, and uh, just, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't uh, get out of this consolidation area and ultimately we were looking for the move back up into uh let's see here um here's 11 12 okay so the webinar was during this period here uh and um uh we were looking for ultimately a move back up into this uh, uh you know 27 12 area 12 13 because it was a previous swing and uh, we didn't we saw the the kind of uh, like maybe beginnings of a uh a potential reversal, uh, but it didn't really look that strong. Uh, so, you know, that was that. It was really not a lot to look at. Uh, and, um, but, you know, we, we started to an anticipate that uh, uh, there were starting to be cracks in that, you know, uh, um, order flow uh, to the upside so that, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it was being pieced together. We saw absorption on the way up. Uh, we saw some exhaustion on the uh, on the buy side, and and we're looking for sellers to come in, and they did come in, uh, but not just to the bottom of the range here. And we saw some spikes here down below this range. Okay, this is actually ap after the webinar, so we didn't see a spike even below that range, uh, or maybe just here a little bit um, below 03. Anyway, uh, you know, we still we did not see any sort of like big reversal pattern here. Uh, you know, we, we noted that, that, uh, the sellers, that uh, they just weren't quite showing up there. So it was still on the table for a, a, a test back up into the highs here at 08. Uh, and then ultimately looking for that, uh, that 27, uh, 12 or 13 area. And, and it did, it did unfold. Okay. So it was just a, a long day, um, uh, of going through all this, but, uh, still, you know, reading the order flow, we're, 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 uh, getting a lot of insight. Uh, and still looking for that bigger move to take place. All right, so I uh, just wanted to cover that. Uh, and then uh, let's get into today's action here. So what's going on? A um, little bit of volatility this morning. Uh, as you can see, uh, the uh, open here, 9, 930, a uh, little back and forth, all the way back down now to our range yesterday, right? Uh, and then uh, buyers step right back in and it's right back up. Okay. And we're coming back up into the overnight now. The overnight high is up here at this uh, 18 level. Okay. So let's mark that up on the chart. Uh, and um, not really seeing too much else here uh, in the 15-minute candlestick chart. But uh, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen up here. Uh, we're just getting into this area here at 1718. So let's jump in the book map. All right, here's our 9.30 open, uh, and then coming up into this 18 level, and let's uh, mark that up quickly. Okay. And looking pretty inevitable here. Okay, we'll probably, you know, usually when we approach some of these, uh, you know, more important figures, there, there's a lot of front running, and you know, and... Uh, S and P a lot of rotations usually as well. Uh, not sure. Not sure. I haven't done any studies on the uh, overnight high. Uh, you know how how traders will um, or you know if we break those pretty pretty easily or not. I'm not seeing actually a lot of front running here uh, at all. Uh, but usually we do. 
Uh, and usually due to that, that's why we'll get, you know, some of these kind of shakeout moves before we finally get up into that higher liquidity. Okay, because you got you got to find the buyers. Uh, and uh, if, if people are starting to front run, they, you know, maybe the buyers don't want to take that on. Okay, so you, you can start to anticipate that when you start to see some of those um, front runners as well. Okay, so especially this S&P market, looking for pullbacks then, and then looking for, you know, re-engage another attack to the upside here. And, and in this chart, where would that be? Re real straightforward, it'd be down here. Okay, even more aggressive would be really right here. Uh, because this is where we broke this little microstructure, as you can see. Okay, so uh, uh, you know that would be the uh, the pullback here. Uh, maybe that's it. You know, maybe we just got it right now. Uh, it didn't even come back down to this area. It came one tick away, and then we're, we're getting that move back up here. So let's see them take them on here, and let's see them trade through. Okay, uh, and let, we'll, we'll gauge this. Um, uh, what's going on here? Uh, is it starting to, to break out? It's breaking in and trading uh, 18 right now. I really like these new volume dots. You guys will get access to these very soon. Okay. I believe end of the week with the new uh, this new beta version. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ted. Uh, the NQ is just uh, on a rampage to the upside, so S&P should be moving as well. Yeah, well, let's let's uh, throw a um, correlation tracker on here, okay? Because I don't demo this very often. And let's put that NQ on here. Where's the NQ? Here it is, green line, that's fine. Oh yeah, okay, it's already broken uh, a few different times. Okay, it's right back down though now too. So it's coming, this is typical in NQ, uh, you get those moves like that, but they'll, they'll come right back down really quickly as well. Yeah, Russell's running up as well, okay. So all of them are are uh, are, are they all breaking the uh, overnight um, overnight highs? Okay, so we can see we've just tested that overnight uh, with the with the uh, S and P, <clears throat> and have now another rotation here. Okay, all right. So uh, yeah, what was the the exact overnight? Ah, okay, so the NQ has another 10 points to go uh, for that overnight high. Gotcha. Well, you know, in terms of reading this order flow, let's open up a few more indicators here. So as I can tell, it's already going to be one of these days here. Um, the um, Let's get our point of control on here as well. All right, and open up our CVD. Okay, so look at look at our CVD. I mean, I mean what, I, what I say, what, what do I mean by one of those days? I mean, this is a nice strong move, but it's a steady and, and look at the slope of this move, right? Uh, I mean, we do see like nice breakout here, okay, on good volume. Uh, that's why this thing just kind of went sideways and then finally came back up and tested 18. Uh, so, you know, this is a, uh, this is kind of you know what we're looking for, uh, you know, looking for those that kind of clarity uh, in those moves. Here's an, another one down here, uh, nice you know strong move, lots of volume, uh, and and look at our VWAP. So it's trading through the VWAP. We get a, a retest of it uh, back into this big cluster here, and we see continuation to the upside. Okay, so for those of you looking at uh, your VWAP or moving averages or whatever, there's you know we, we know that's a strategy of looking for it to break through, retest it back again, support, resistance, etc., cetera, um, or resistance, support. Uh, the beauty is here, though, if, if whatever you know strategy you're using there, uh, we'll look to the book. Does the book support that idea? Okay, so uh, if that's your strategy, so... Regardless of what your strategy is, you know, this is where Bookmap can help you because you, you, you look to it here uh, and we can see 
you know, there was a lot of high liquidity here. And what do they do? They actually pulled a lot of it. And let me get this correlation tracker off here. I think it's just kind of getting in the way. There we go. Okay. Um, so uh, if that's something you look at, uh, well, then, you know, look to this heat map. Okay, so what do we have? You know, piece that together, and uh, you got some pretty nice context for the uh, continuation. Okay, you have that um, uh, high liquidity here that's being pulled. Okay, it comes through on on good strong volume, uh, and then it's come back here to retest the view app right where it is. But then look in the book here. I mean, they do pull. That is true. Uh, they're, they're showing back up here on the bid now at the same price level at 27.10. They do pull here. Uh, they jump right back in, and then now they're getting aggressive as well. Uh, they're they're uh, uh, up a few more ticks. All right. Well, we're just going sideways here, uh, and um, obviously high liquidity, and they're they're layering in as you can see the larger players. This guy was at 18. Looks like they were here for much longer term. Uh, especially, uh, well, since here, I guess, but 20 is really where they've been in for your, here for quite a while. Uh, you know, about, um, it was just about 1,200 contracts, and they just pulled some. Okay, so anyway, layering in, showing some interest up here, uh, and uh, this is an important level as well, okay, that overnight high. Yeah, here it is up here. So let me uh, edit this here because that's 18 is not it. It's 18 and a half looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, looks like a rotation here. Okay. And they're chasing after it a little bit here, 1,300 contracts. This is the same guy that we saw yesterday. That guy was in all day long as well. Um, you know, we can see him again in here. Same, looks like the same player, same algo. Uh, very high liquidity, very short term with, with really no intent to trade. All right, so here comes our pullback to uh, our strong breakout here. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe around the, this 14, 14 and a half level, somewhere there. Okay, I don't see any liquidity there yet. So where are they showing up on the bid? And they're not. Yeah, it'd be nice to see it come down to this like 14 and a half level. There was a little bit of interest there previously here, as you can see, but uh, have seen nothing yet. Okay, so uh, no targets for these sellers. I mean, these sellers want to drive this lower. Here's that same guy jumping back in again. Okay, even more aggressive here, another tick below. All right, so let's see if uh, if this is low enough. I, I'm not sure. Uh, not just not getting much insight here on uh, uh, on either the volume nor the um, uh, uh, on the bid here. I uh, just see that spoofer coming back in in these areas. So they're, he's pretty far away though. Okay, so we're just looking for the aggressor here on that buy side if they're going to jump in here. Uh, and then uh, they'll need to uh, uh, pull it uh, or lift the offer uh, pretty high up into the, back to test 18 here.
and and why I say that, I mean, like, uh, just just look at the volume here. Um, you know, it, it's kind of even on both sides. We don't see a skew, whereas we see that skew over here. Okay, there's just more buyers here. You know, lifting that offer. Ted, are you seeing this guy, in, you know, someone like this in the uh, in the Nasdaq at all? We can jump over and take a look here. <laughs> Spoof capital of the world. It is. Yeah. Well, it, it, it really changed. I, I'm, I'm sure you saw that change um, when uh, uh, Rule 575 came out. Uh, and so they can be criminally held responsible and go to jail. Uh, it, it, it was just so blatant before. I mean, like, you know, 3,000 contracts in the, uh, in the NQ, like three layers of it. All right, guys, we're coming down to our level here. Uh, still not getting too much insight. Yeah, it was a joke. Um, and uh, a lot of that, I mean, you still see some, obviously we still see, uh, you know, this behavior, but uh, not like it was. Uh, and um, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see if these guys, um, yeah, they're still there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't see those big blocks like that uh, spoofing uh, like, like previously. Um, but, um, uh, let's see, starting to show interest here at 14, at least you can see these guys starting to come in. Uh, and, uh, let's see if we, uh, the reaction to that, I mean, has been buyers so far. Okay. See that, see the skew in the book and see the reaction here. Let's see if they jump it up maybe a little bit more. Okay, and let me bring up the, um, not the volume, or the, uh, let's get a little more info here since we're kind of zooming into the, uh, uh, these mi micro levels here. Okay, well, the micro levels here, what we're looking at is uh, at 14, they're still showing some interest here, and we see the reaction to price, okay? And then there, we're, we're looking for it to come back up into some of these levels here, okay? And uh, let's see if they, they start to jump in on the other side. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Um Buyers are, yeah, I, I agree. Buyers are in control here, it looks like, um, with the, um, yeah, you're looking for like this kind of big chop zone here uh, between overnight high and previous uh, previous days on uh, on the NASDAQ and, and S&P. &S yeah, I mean, we don't see any, any change yet in the order flow uh, whatsoever. I mean, uh, there's both buying and selling down here. But you know, I mean, we—it's—it's it's really up to your risk appetite and 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 what kind of strategies you you guys want to play. Uh, but the information is here; it's very objective uh, information, just in this micro range here. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, I'm alluding to like uh, the possibilities here of uh, uh, if they if they're starting to show down here and you see the reaction to it, well, you can get in uh, and then you can trade it back up into these areas here at 15 and a half. You know, I mean, I know this is only like a, a point, um, but, uh, um, you know, or, you know, a few ticks maybe, but you can, you can still, it's still tradable. I mean, if, if that's something that you guys are, uh, uh, you know, if you're scalping for some ticks, uh, it is possible. Okay. Cause the, the information, you can see the reaction to the orders, uh, and, um, uh, we can assume that, uh, up here, that's going to rotate back down, right? Uh, until they start to show a little more interest down here, okay, and that's how you get these kind of these these patterns like this. 
um, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, they're starting to pull, but they come back in, they pull, they come back in, uh, and then they do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, now what we, you know, go over uh, in the webinar here is is these larger areas, looking for those, you know, a little more insight than uh, uh, just anticipating these kind of, kinds of small swings back and forth of someone who really comes in and skews that book, okay, and showing a lot of intent here, and then she's seen a lot of volume react to that. Okay, then we, th that's, that's uh, uh, you know, uh, on... Well, the volatility has been pretty good the last um, month or so. Uh, the last this last week, though, it has been uh, hasn't been so great. Uh, so uh, you know, just uh, painful to to stay and, and watch this unfold uh, in some cases. But uh, uh, you know, still, it, the same concepts are are holding true on the mic micro scale. Okay, we're just looking for a more macro view. It's just, it just it's easier to visualize uh, and um, and when you start to see that, you can anticipate those moves back up into some of the higher areas. So, for example, what just occurred here? Look, look how, I mean, this is a, a great use of a book map uh, in this example for micro, okay? But it, it can be used on the macro, right? So, for example, you know, we're starting to see this kind of, you know, uh, 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 guys down here showing some interest uh, at these levels, okay? Um Oops. Okay, down down 14, 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half here. Okay, but uh, and then they jump back in though, right? Well, look what happened over here. Okay, this is new information. Okay, someone showing interest now here at 15. Okay, now they're starting to show a little bit more. Okay, now look what just just happened here. Okay, and we came up a, a two ticks higher. Okay, than this range was. Okay. But uh, now this guy is starting to pull, and they're actually showing a lot more interest here. And look at the reaction to price. Okay, so let's see if we can get down into maybe uh, the swing down here again. Okay, based on uh, on this uh, reaction. So a little bit of a push here, a, a tick or two higher. Okay, and um, uh, and then they show up again. Now, now he just he just pulled though. Okay, so this this is why it, you know a lot of the times the we will we will bypass this uh, kind of uh, micro uh, uh, structural areas here uh, because there's so much adding and pulling of liquidity it doesn't really have the intent to trade. Okay, but um, uh, anyway, the um, uh, the, the same the same concepts are holding true though. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. A few more questions. Uh, you want to look at IBM, okay? I don't know if I have IBM up. No. I'll add it though. Ah. Okay, I have too many open for. I guess I can shut down one of these here. Uh, let's shut down the SPY. Okay, uh, Jesus, let's give it a minute here to, to load some of that data. Okay, well, we came back up into uh, 17. This is where we dropped from originally. Okay, so this, this little move here that we were watching uh, unfold, in fact, this is what the impetus for it. Uh, uh, you know, they're starting to bid up down here, but then uh, right on the other side, uh, you know, this, uh, this guy is showing a lot of interest here, uh, and <laughs> it moves price back down. Uh, but once he pulls, uh, price floats right back up, and then this guy here at 17 is pulling as well. So uh, this looks like you know 
uh, pretty pretty good for our attack here back to 18. Okay, and this one you can see here pretty clearly. Uh, you know, higher liquidity here at 17 pulls, and now they're adding on the other side. Okay. So starting to understand these book skews uh, and the reaction uh, of, of price, okay, the reaction of the traders, the, the aggressors. Okay, and it is repelling it, right? It's repelling. Here, here comes the skew again. Look at 17 now and look at the reaction. Okay, back up into 18 now. Just didn't trade up here at 18, but it, it tested it. Okay, and they're staying in the book up here at 18. Oh, I'm sorry, I did trade a little bit up into 18. Yeah, 83 contracts traded. Uh, and uh, now they're, they're, well, they're they're here at 18 and they're pulling um, and then adding right back in. Uh, but they're somewhat staying in this book. And they're still up here at 18 and a half though. Okay. All right, so understanding this liquidity uh, and putting it into context here is uh, uh, really, really essential uh, to understanding the, um, or anticipating this price movement here. Okay, starting to bid up more at 15 as well. Okay, at 16 as well. Okay, and ga gauging that, let's zoom in here a little bit closer. Okay, starting to gauge this. Okay, uh, we're getting we're getting some nice little information here. Uh, a little bit of gauge there as well as here. So look at buyers were attracted uh, to to this spoofer here. Okay, and now that he pulled, uh, we're just kind of you know right back here. All right, let's see if they're targeting that 15 area here. That's uh, where we saw these guys come in. See, now they're pulling. Oh, they're adding a little bit lower here. <clears throat> yeah all right well uh, what other insights can we get here um not too much uh we have a double top up here in our cvd it's it's very equal so not not getting much out of that um our vwap and is, is still way down here uh as well as our, our poc uh, is down here so that's uh, still pretty pretty low. So you know bulls are still still in charge here, uh, and our structure is holding. This was that pullback we were looking for at 14, uh, 14 and a half. We didn't get to 14, but uh, 14 and a half we surely did. Okay, and then we got our retest back up here. And they are more bullish. I mean, uh, showing up interest here at 15. Okay. But he's pulling. <laughs> okay. There he goes. All right. So uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, uh, just as I was mentioning that, looking at the color of this little cluster here, seeing some sellers come in here. 
Uh, let's see if they'll, they'll drive it to a, the bottom of the range here. Um, down to 14 here. And that's, uh, that's kind of what we were looking at was 14 earlier. Uh, if we can just maybe get below this swing and then have it reject and come back into that range. All right, well, let's jump over to IBM and as we kind of uh, wait for this to unfold here and see what's going on. Did these guys stay? No, they pulled as well. This guy at 15 pulled. All right, so uh, let's go to IBM. And right, what's going on there? Let's zoom out. Okay, so actually it looks like I'm not signed up for full depth yet on IBM. So... Uh, uh, for historical data, so I need I need to configure my uh, my settings for that. But you can see we're we're trading into this 149 area, 149 the figure. Uh, here it is, and uh, you know they're staying in the book here, uh, Jesus. So uh, and look what traded down here, uh, nothing. Now they're getting more aggressive and they're bidding up. So uh, let's see if those buyers can step in now. We've had a it, it test this area three times basically. Um, and uh, yeah, looking for buyers to step in here, okay? and uh, looking for them to maybe get get up to this 149.40 uh, area. Okay, we have not. Well, the one thing we haven't seen though, although the the book looks good, okay, the um, you know where where are those uh, aggressive buyers? Like I'm seeing, you know. More selling actually in some of these areas here uh, than I am buying. Okay, so those those buyers they, they need to come in here and they need we need more buying up at this these areas here. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of what I see here in IBM. Uh, and, uh, yeah, too bad I don't have some of that historical data here. But we can look at another stock if you want. Um, I've got um, uh, Visa. Uh, let's just go through it here. And let me know if you want to look at something here. i got Visa. i got Disney, Microsoft, Tesla, Netflix, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple. You want to look at Tesla? Okay. Quickly look at Tesla. Let's zoom out. I mean, and why I'm going to show this uh, here, um, well, you know, first off, we offer this. Uh, but there's something just so nice and so clear, I think, with these uh, equities. Uh, here's our 930 open, and you can see them, uh, you know, really step it up into the book. Okay. You see the liquidity comes in here at, um, at uh, uh, 295 and 300. Okay. And they pull here, obviously, pretty early on at, at 95. Where do we go? Right to 300. I mean, you know, you can plan your day at 9.30 a.m. in the equities uh, just by uh, this this uh, DX feed here. Okay. And then um, we trade back down and, and, you know, starting to understand these areas again back to, let's see, this was actually 95 and uh, – or almost uh, uh, 96, I should say. Here's ni here's 95, uh, and they're 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 coming back into the book uh, at this level. Why did we stop here and bounce? It's the liquidity. I mean, it's clear as day. Uh, else, I I would have thought we'd come back down to maybe this little level here due to the volume profile, right? Uh, we didn't though. We came to here. It's because this liquidity, right? Or maybe even down to here. Uh, you know because that's where this big move took place. So, you know, if, if I'm looking at my footprint chart, that's what I'd, I'd be thinking. Or if I'm a volume profile trader, that's what I'd be thinking. Because, you know, here's our volume profile right over to it right here. Here's our here's our low volume node. No question about it. Okay? But it didn't trade there. It traded down here uh, due to this liquidity. All right. And uh, it's been pretty sideways since then. So not 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 seeing too much else here uh, in Tesla at the moment. 
Okay. What about current current market? Yeah, I mean it's starting. You know, nice cluster here, uh, starting to trend up uh, right into 97, and it's getting filled. Okay, but um, and we're seeing some sellers come in here. Um, so uh, yeah, it looks kind of kind of sideways. I mean, I, I do like the kind of move here with this with the uh, more volume trading up here, but up here it's looking on both sides to me. So I'm I'm kind of looking for sideways action here based on our analysis. All right, let's jump back to that S and P and see what's unfolding here. And nothing. All right. Okay, we're just uh, in that range again still. All right, let's jump over to NQ uh, and take a look here. Is NQ nice insight here? Just traded into high liquidity right here, okay, and uh, traded through it, right? But uh, looks like it was uh, absorbed here. Absolutely, okay, right into it there. Uh, and um, let's see, out of the out of 40 contracts or 52, 40 of them traded there, okay. And let's zoom out a little bit more. Okay, moving back down. Next level here is at uh, 68.43. Let's get our bigger picture perspective as well. Uh, highest liquidity, obviously down here. Look at this uh, area down here at 39.40. And then uh, 50, obviously 68.50 is going to be a key key area. Uh, so far, it, it is spiked through that 68.50 level, but it has not accepted above it. Okay, guys are starting to show up here at around 52 and between 52 and 53 due to the high up here. Okay, pretty. I like seeing this aggressive here, uh, moving liquidity up a, a few ticks here. From 38 to in the yeah let's say 38 and a half to 39 and a half. CBD is showing a little more sell side volume here actually. Okay. Okay. So uh, I don't really look at the CBD uh, as I mentioned before, but uh, on some of these sideways days. Uh, you know, the more that we can look at that to get, gain insight, uh, I, I, uh, I start to uh, open up some of the uh, other indicators. All right, let me make this a little more clearer. There we go. Okay, so, um, uh, so more selling here, uh, but uh, it was not able to make it come any lower, right? Uh, the low is over here. Okay, but the sell volume is showing like, uh, you know, more selling here. So a few different ways of looking at that depending on uh, on your slant here. Um, uh, I'd be looking for if, if it's going to make a lower low here, but it's it's higher than the than the low over here. Uh, I'm looking for it to absorb and it obviously absorbed here. We just, we just checked that out, how it got absorbed here at this uh, 45 and a, and a quarter level. Right. Uh, but uh, I don't see it being absorbed here really. It's, this is, these are sellers. So, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, we're, we're actually uh, in this instance, what I'm kind of gaining from that um, uh, CBD then uh, is that there's more selling because we made a lower low and that now we're starting to see it exhaust out up here on these on these uh, on this buy side and it's making a lower high okay so you know based on that you would then start to anticipate a move down into 43 uh, and then maybe down into 40 okay now I, I, like I said I, I don't like it I, I like to um, uh, look at the uh, uh, the, the moves here, the, the speed and the amount of volume that traded on them, uh, and um, uh, and then compare uh, the swings here. Like, did it make a higher high? Did it make a higher low? Uh, and and how the liquidity, uh, how uh, price reacted to the areas of liquidity. Okay. Now we may get this move here. 
Uh, looks looks actually uh, pretty pretty decent. It's not it's not that clear. I mean, uh, still we're we're getting some volume to trade down here, but these are quick little spikes and then moves right back up into the range. So in in general, I mean, you know, uh, the objective information here uh, that that book map is um, is showing you in, in the analysis and uh, our analysis of it here, uh, the um, uh, quick uh, like spikes and then moves right back up into the range. Like if if the if we saw more volume trade at this lower low and then and it spiked up and then quickly came back down and traded again down here at this lower low, that's when. Uh, uh, you, you know, the uh, it's a stronger probability of testing some of these lower areas here. Okay, does this make any sense? I, I, I know I'm kind of going through this analysis here uh, with the cumulative volume of delta pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of us, uh, you know, when we see the divergence here, uh, depending on the way that you trade it, okay, uh, maybe you would have gone long. Okay. But the, what I'm looking at here uh, and why I'm, I'm looking for, there's I know there's more selling uh, and I would anticipate more of a move to the downside here uh, in, uh, in the NASDAQ uh, uh, due to the CVD was because of the lack of absorption. Okay, If I saw more absorption uh, and I knew that there was buyers getting filled here, uh, and I didn't, and I didn't see this exhaustion here. That's when I would anticipate the, the, that uh, the CVD is giving us a good signal of divergence. Okay, and then looking for uh, that move to the upside. And in this case, I'm not, uh, or I didn't like it. Um, uh, I didn't like the insight, but it was telling us basically in this little area here uh, that um, uh, there's more selling in here, and it, these are sellers. Okay, and then looking for that move. Okay, and ultimately the move was down here into this uh, 40, uh, 3940 level. Okay, and that, that just occurred. All right. Okay, let me know if you, you need some, some clarity on that. I'll, I'll go through it again. Uh, but um, uh, we made a, um, a lower low here. Uh, basics of it is we made a lower low here, uh, but we're, we're a, a higher low. Okay. In, uh, in price, but they we're showing that there's more sellers here. So because of that, just like reading the order flow, more sellers at these lower lows, we're looking for a price discovery to the downside. Now, if I saw uh, more absorption here uh, in this area with the limit orders, and we're making uh, a higher low, then I would be bullish, and I'd be looking for the swing up here to get tested uh, at 53. All right. I hope that was clear. <clears throat> All right. Well, at least we're getting some moves here. Uh, let's see how the NASDAQ or the uh, S&P followed through. Okay. At least, uh, yeah, move down into the POC and the, the VWAP is, uh, we're right back to this VWAP. Okay. So looking for maybe a bounce off of VWAP here at 27.12. And, and look, there's high liquidity here. Okay. And they're just showing in. They're just popping into the book here. So that looks good. It looks like they're supporting this move here in the VWAP. Uh, people are front running it by one tick. Now this uh, jump back to this NASDAQ is just moving better. Okay, area of interest here in this NASDAQ uh, would be here. Okay, because we broke out of the range here. Okay, there's also down here, this is the swing I'm interested in. And uh, you can see we traded through it. Big old cluster of, of volume here. No real clarity, but a retest back to this uh, area where we broke from and then the move to the upside here. All right. Okay, what about this area? Uh, seemed kind of a flip of the book or what? Uh, in the Into this area here, did they trade? Yeah, they traded, okay? So uh, looking right at it here, you can see the transactions taking place here at uh, 39.50. Okay, 
okay, all the selling here. And then amount of contracts were, uh, yeah, 56, 56 and 56 traded. Okay, so, uh, yep, those guys are in, in the market long. Okay, and our other area here at 35, that we just drew in here, we're starting to bounce already before hitting that. All right, here come the buyers. Let's see them charge back up maybe in two. Yeah, I mean, the the, the, the move here at, at 43, and then also here, I like this one a little bit better at 44. And the higher liquidity is starting to come in. It's a pretty good volume down here. Okay, CVD as well as just by looking at, you know, at the dots, the color, and then also our, our line graph here showing a lot of volume uh, trading here. All right, let's see if we uh, can get maybe a test back down maybe to uh, uh, this area down here. They're showing at 36 and a half uh, and then here at 42 as well. And we're just kind of channeling between these two areas at the moment. Okay, so this is going to be our, looks like our retest back up here. Look at our volume profile too. Okay, let me just put this into the range here. So all of this volume up here, uh, coming right back up into our, here. here's our, our retest here now. Uh, light into a low volume node, is it gonna accept back up into this volume profile or is it gonna reject and, and accept down below here is the question. Okay, and let's uh, let's watch this play out here and uh, anticipate some of these moves. Um, Okay, so uh, now I'm not, I'm not, I'm just seeing, uh, you know, more, more aggressive buying. They're lifting the, lifting the offer here. Okay, yeah, here they come. More follow through on that. Not seeing anything in the book right now. Okay, so did we get back up into that profile or not? Mm, just on the edge of it here. Okay, I imagine we're going to find some sellers here. I don't see them yet in the book. No, nah, they're still, there's, you know, pretty far away. 47, uh, 40, and then uh, 38 and a quarter. Okay, so let's see if the, if the buyers, if, if they're still in charge. I mean, they certainly are. Um, if, if they... Um, uh, are going to, going to target this 47 area here, and then maybe 50 the figure as well, huh? Yep. Let's see it. Let's see the let's see the uh, sweep here. Ah, uh, so it's so nice to watch the Nasdaq compared to the S and P, uh, in <laughs> today at least uh, in the last few days I should say, because you know we're watching a lot of follow through in the S and P over the last month, uh, but um, uh, you know the Nasdaq you won't get those rotations like this and uh, so quickly, uh, and, and and through these areas. You know, and and I mean that was pretty simple analysis. Like we're just looking at the aggressor basically, and then anticipating them to uh, to lift that offer and and sweep the book uh, higher. Okay, so uh, and that 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 you know played out pretty pretty nicely here. The one thing with the Nasdaq compared to that S and P is you'll get these swings and and sweeps, but then you'll get these really you know quick 
uh, deep pullbacks as just just as uh, quickly, right? So uh, uh, just uh, note the way different markets uh, and the order flow uh, behaves. And, and why is that? Well, look at the number of contracts here, okay, in the Nasdaq. You know, we're looking at tens of contracts at every every single price level. Okay, let's uh, jump over to the S and P and look at the contracts. Okay, so we're looking at um, about um, uh, you know like ten times that amount. Okay, minimum. So there's a, there's the difference, right? So more volatile markets or less liquidity, more volatile markets. Okay, beautiful pullback right to where we broke from here, as you can see, right back up into the range. And let's see if those buyers can uh, extend one more leg and get up into the high liquidity here at 68.50, the figure. Okay, was the book showing? Just a little bit of interest here. A little bit more. Let's see. Let's see this. The the uh, looks looks pretty good. Let's see it now. Here they come in. See the skew at 45. And the reaction. Let's get a little bit more. Let's get into 50. So yeah, they're showing though some interest here at 49 as well, but they they, they just pulled. Okay, 44, and then uh, we're just shy of 50 here. Okay, even down not now at 47. See how they're following up like this. Okay, now they're pulling. Okay, so we're just one tick shy of 50, or did we trade 50? No, we did not. Okay. <clears throat> so it's clear for them to sweep it, as you can see. Uh, they've got it. There, there they go. Okay, and now they're showing a little more interest here on that bid. They still have got it. Like uh, they're they're not. I don't see much front running. I don't see much anything here. Uh, you know, below fifty. And let's see if they start to show up again down here at 46. Then, so we we came another well, this this time a, a couple ticks away. And no interest, no interest. They're they're down here at 45. Okay. All right, so they're starting to bid up here underneath, as you can see, uh, and the reaction has been to move up. Okay. Anyway, to be honest, like uh, this is looking for like for a, a better reversal pattern. Uh, like we were covering this yesterday. Wh why is that? Okay. So uh, first off, the the swings and the moves here, some strong selling. But look at the cluster of selling down here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, and um, uh, if we can, uh, you know, we need to get down here again and see more selling, and then they can sweep the book lower, maybe down into 42 here. 
Okay, and uh, we have not, we had a retest here back up to this 46 area here. Uh, so uh, in terms of a reversal pattern, by looking at the order flow, uh, this, you know, looks a lot better and a lot clearer compared to yesterday. Okay, so here comes more selling here. This is their chance to sweep that book lower. And let's see the follow through. Uh, targeting areas, maybe 41 or 40 down here, or maybe even 38. Well, there's your, there's your sweep right there. Okay. It tested 40 and is bouncing a little bit here at 40. Guys are pulling here at 38. Uh, they're showing more interest now down here at 35. Okay. Um, now that happened really quickly, uh, but uh, can you, you guys can, uh, uh, you know, we can see that cluster here uh, and we're looking for a little more selling down here and we got some of it uh, and then it started to look really good right here uh, before the breakout. Okay, but it, you know, we, the, the, the switch happened here. First off, the below the swing, okay, but the nice, look at the nice cluster of, of red and selling down here. And also this was a pretty quick move. With some uh, with some good volume. Okay, retest right where that swing or that sweep uh, you know came from, and it's, it's right back down into the range here. Now, what about the cluster of selling here? Okay, not not as strong, is it? Okay, down in this area. Okay, now we're starting to make a, we made a, a, a higher low here, and we're starting to find some buyers now. Okay, I mean, we're still, we're still bearish until, until we see something different here. Uh, but, uh, you know, microstructurally, like, you would be bullish in this little area here, up, up to the swing. Okay, but I, I would uh, start to look for uh, some selling up here, but they're not, they're not showing up. Okay. Okay. Anyway, distinction between these two areas here. Okay. Cause it's looking pretty good here. Actually on the, we're back, we're back up into this, this area here where we drop from. Okay. Pretty quickly here. So maybe, maybe this is where we find these sellers here. The book's not showing much and okay. we're not seeing too much in the book. 47, uh, you know, we're exhausting out a little bit on the, on that buy side here. Okay. And then let's see if we can get those sellers now and the sellers, uh, you know, we're back up into this little area here where we drop from, All right? Starting to exhaust out on that buy side, maybe get down here, uh, 43 and a half, uh, maybe even down as low as uh, 41. Okay, that's for that. currently what we see, uh, and uh, just not a lot though. We need to see more selling here, uh, you know, at these areas and the lows, and we're not we're not quite getting it yet. There, there's a little more follow through. Okay, but they exhausted out here. So anyway, not not um, not a lot of clarity there at the moment. Uh, trying to trying to piece it together in real time. The um, uh, anyway, the, the you know some nice distinctions here though uh, between you know this this cluster looked pretty good. Uh, the the strength of the move looked good. Nice little pullback to where we came from. Uh, the uh, the retest here it exhausted out the very very bottom, but still there was still some volume trading down here that was uh, aggressive selling. Uh, some more down here as well, and then some more right here, looking for that continuation. Uh, and, uh, this looks good. Uh, the, um, this move down here, okay, uh, was different. Okay. There's, and we can see the distinction. Look at the buying that's happening down here as well. Okay. It's, it's, there's a lot of selling, no, no question as it swept the book. And you can see how the book flipped like, uh, you know, uh, over to 42 on the, on the, on the offer. But then look at this area down here. Look at how it exhausted out here, here, and it's making higher, um, 
uh, higher lows and, and higher highs, okay, on, on some of this um, uh, aggressive buying. Okay, the, look at the lows again here. Okay, the swings down here doesn't just doesn't look that good, right? We need to see that selling. We need to see this kind of follow through uh, that that we saw um, uh, over here uh, in these areas. Okay, that's when you can start to anticipate that price movement to the downside based on the, on the order flow and the volume. Okay, uh, and here it uh, it's not doing it. Okay, so microstructurally we're looking for test back up to where we drop from. Uh, it continued another test to where it dropped from here, uh, and then uh, here really no clarity. Uh, I, I don't see anything uh, until and this is all aggressor. Um, not really seeing too much in the uh, in the book here, even if I bring this way way up uh, on our heat map setting. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to yeah, not too much. Not too much, just some here, I guess. But you know, the volume had already already started. All right, here they come back in this swing. Uh, let's see if we can break through now. We, this is looking, looking uh, yeah, ready and poised to test and break through 50. Have, have not taken them on yet. I mean, these are not a lot of contracts. And they can easily take them on. And they're just choosing not to. All right, guys. Well, anyway, let's uh, uh, wrap it up here uh, and maybe recap a few things. Uh, I just kind of recap this volume here and, and then anticipating that move to the downside. And then down here, um, the uh, uh, this move here, how it looked different, uh, and then how it was behaving over here as well. Uh, and the book did show a little bit here uh, in these areas. Uh, and then... Um, but uh, starting to anticipate moves back up into where we drop from at least. Uh, and then uh, the breakout really occurred here uh, at uh, this 46 and a half area. And that's, see, see where, see that's why I was targeting this area here and that's why this is an important area uh, right here at um, uh, this 46 and a half area because that's where we originally broke from pretty quickly, pretty, a lot of strength, a lot of, a lot of aggressive selling, right back to it, uh, some sellers, uh, then <laughs> we do get a pullback right back to 44 where we broke from here, as you can see. Uh, and then um, now that, that area at 46 becomes a pretty, pretty key uh, area in, in, this, uh, uh, in this time frame because we, we break through it and retest it now as, um, uh, as support. Okay, and we still are. We're still testing it as support. Okay, so uh, good, good little recap on that. Uh, and um, anything else that we saw was something in the S and P we uh, we covered here. Not really. Uh, look at the distinction here, though. Uh, S and P is not testing its highs here. So uh, some other plays uh, using correlation tracker. Uh, you know, you can you can look for uh, uh, you know shorting Nasdaq, uh, long S and P, whatever it is, uh, you know, based on your bias here. But there's something's off, right? One has not caught up to the other here. So that's a possible strategy uh, to look into. Okay, uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's roughly it. Let's uh, let's call it a day, guys, and we'll catch up with you uh, on uh, on Thursday tomorrow. Okay. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.